Okay, let's talk about creating titles for a few minutes. In Final Cut Pro 10, the titles are located in the Title Browser window. You can bring forward the Title Browser window by clicking on the letter T. Inside the Title Browser window, you'll see the titles are divided into categories. You can expand the area of the Title Browser window by clicking this slide arrow to show or hide available categories. As you can see, there are a lot of templates, but don't worry, the process of editing a template to the timeline and making changes is the same for all of them. You can also use the scroll wheel on your mouse instead of using the slide bar to scroll up and down through the list. What's really cool about these templates is that if you park over a template and move your mouse left or right, you can see what the template actually looks like before editing it to the timeline. Now, it's important to note that each of these title templates have different durations. I believe this template is four seconds long, so when I drag it to the timeline, this particular template will always default to four seconds in length. Of course, using this method to edit your title to the timeline may require that you trim your title a bit based on how long you'd like the title to be on the screen. All right, I'm going to delete this title to show you another method. For me, I prefer to use the Range tool by pressing the R key to select an area within the primary storyline. Then, double-click on the title to connect it above the Range selection. Okay, so now if I press the spacebar to play, you can see the title in action. Since this is a title template, all I need to do is give my new title a name. Go ahead and select the title and look for the inspector window. If the inspector window isn't showing, use the keyboard shortcut Command-4 to bring it forward. Then move over to the text tab and give your title template a name. Okay, so here's how it plays out. What's awesome about Final Cut Pro 10 is the title is now connected with the clip below it. So if I ever need to move my clip, the title will move with it. One important thing to keep in mind is that all of these title templates are motion projects. When I talk about motion, I'm referring to Motion 5 that can be purchased separately from the App Store. I recommend that you purchase Motion so that if you need to, you can edit any of these templates. That's done by right-clicking on a template and choosing Open a Copy in Motion. Okay, now you can see the title template in Motion where you can make changes and save it as a new template. With all that being said, you don't necessarily need Motion 5 to create some cool looking titles. Let's go back to Final Cut Pro 10 and create a custom title and make some changes to it. To start, use the Range tool by pressing the R key to select an area in the primary storyline for where you'd like your title to go. Then move over to the Title Browser window and double click on the custom title. Bam! There it is! Okay, if I go back to the timeline and click on my custom title to select it, you'll notice I now have some parameters that I can change in the Inspector window. Let's start by looking at the choices available within the Text tab. First you'll notice I can adjust the size of the text. Or you can park over the actual size value and hold down your mouse button while you drag up or down. You can also click the value to highlight it so you can type in your own value. Okay, hopefully some of these other parameters make sense to you, including the ability to adjust the alignment, tracking, and so on. Click on the Style Attributes menu at the top of the inspector. Here you can choose from a variety of pre-built styles. You can even make changes to one of these styles and save it as a new style. One thing that's a real blessing, if you pull down the font menu, you can see what all the fonts look like while you make a decision. Notice how the title in the viewer actually updates as I drag across different font selections. Then I'll go ahead and give my title a name. If you scroll down through the options in the Inspector window, you'll also see choices for an outline, glow, and drop shadow. In my example, let's choose an outline. Click where it says Show to reveal the parameters for the outline. Go ahead and adjust the width. 
Notice the default color is red until you choose a new color. For an added effect, you can also adjust the blur of the width. Now, I don't want my title to be in the center of the screen, but before moving it, let's not forget about the title safe area. That option is located in the upper right corner of the viewer, and there's a pull down menu here to show title safe zones. To move the title, click on the Transform Effect button in the lower left corner of the viewer window. Now you can position the title towards the bottom. So if I back up and play my timeline, you can see the title. Let's add some animation to the title and make things more interesting. Then click on the Title tab within the Inspector window. So check this out, you've got an opacity slider here. However, it does something different than what you might expect. Go ahead and adjust the opacity to zero and play through your timeline. You'll notice the characters fade in one at a time, which is pretty cool. If you combine this with some scaling, it really starts to produce a nice effect. Now, if I adjust the spread, you'll notice the letters fly in slightly more uniform. And oh, by the way, you've also got controls for how the title ends, such as adjusting your opacity control for the out. So there you go. With minimal effort, you've got a great looking title. It's that easy. Check it out. And don't forget, Genius TV also offers Classroom or On-Site Final Cut Pro 10 training.